Hey guys, Super Silverstone here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be taking a look at loot tables. So this video is part of my data pack creation series where we take a look at different types of a data pack and different aspects that you can use to make data pack. And today, this is a long-awaited sequel, or well, it's actually like the fourth one in the series, I think, and it is loot tables. So loot tables are actually a really fascinating thing. Loot tables are one of the most important parts of data pack creation. And you'll, you'll definitely use these. Loot tables are another complex topic like recipes, but can be broken down pretty easily depending on what you're using to do so. So, what we're going to be using is we're going to be using this thing today. So this is called the Missode Loot Table Generator, alright? So right here, you can go to missode.github.io and click on loot table, and then you can create a loot table. That's what we're going to be using today to actually make our loot tables. So loot tables basically change how Minecraft loot is given or taken away. This can be when a zombie dies, a block is broken, a fishing drop, or even a piglin bar. All of these things can be changed, and we're going to be going over a majority of the important ones you'll want to know today. We will be writing everything out like functions, but loot tables can be very complex and deep with code very fast. We're going to be using loot table generator today. First, we're going to head to the loot table generator. It's right here. And then we're going to take this little type right here and set it to entity. So this is going to change the entity drop, right? And then you're going to put not specific to the entity that you want. For example, if you want a pig to drop this, you're not going to put pig here. You're going to put entity and you're actually going to name the file that. So we'll get to that in a second. What you're going to want to do is you can set for item, and then you can set it as, for example, um, cooked chicken. And there's tons of things you can do. Functions, all of these things. You can furnace smell. You can set loot table. You can set NBT data. You can looting enchant. You can get enchant with levels. So much stuff you can do here. And then what you do when you're finished is you can add more items here, by the way. It's a super cool site. I love it. Anyway, when you're finished, what you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste this file right here. And then we're going to the tab right here. And we're going to create a new folder. And we're going to name it whatever we want. I want to call it Loot Table Data Pack. Now, I actually already have one of these. Yeah, I already have one of these, but that's not that big of a deal. So what we're going to do is we're going to create Loot Table Data Pack. I have it right here. And in here, we're going to create a folder and we're going to name it Data. And then next to it, we're going to create a file called pack.mcmeta. You have to make sure that right here under File Folder, it says mcmeta file. So this is what you want to put inside, right? It depends what version you're using. If you're using 1.18 to 1.18.1, you're going to use version 8. If you're using 1.18.2, you're going to put version 9. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this one, copy and paste. This will be linked in the description, and that's your pack.mc meta. This, you can put the description of what it is, and the pack format, pack PNG, all that stuff. So, now when we go into data, what we're going to do is we are going to create a folder and name it Minecraft, just like that. We're actually not going to be doing anything with the namespace today. If you created your namespace, which is custom things, you could add custom entities, custom items, all of that you would put under a tutorial. But if it starts in Minecraft, for example, if you're altering something about Minecraft itself, then you're going to use the Minecraft file. That's the same with recipes, same with functions, all that type of thing. So you're going to go into the Minecraft file, and then you're going to create a folder and you're going to name it loot underscore tables now in here what we're going to do is we're going to create a folder and we're going to name it entities like that and then when you go in here you're going to create your folder you're going to name this you're you're going to create your actual json file so what you're going to name this is you're actually going to name this what your entity is of what you, entity you want to change if i want to change the pigs i'm going to put pig.json make sure though that it says json file under the type here all right pig.json that's the entity you want to edit. So then you can come here and you can grab your code and then you can paste it onto the inside. Save it and then you can go into your game slash reload. Now I have already created my loot table beforehand but that's how you're going to do it. So here I'm going to summon a pig. That did not work. There we go. Summon the pig right there. What we're going to do? We're going to get our pig and we're going to kill it. And what do we get? We get chicken. Well that's weird. Why do we get chicken? That's so odd. We get a piece of cooked chicken. That is what we set it for our loot table to actually be. And you, a great command that you can use to actually figure out if your loot table works or not is the slash loot command. You're going to do slash loot and give. This can be give, insert, replace, or spawn. Give is what you're mostly going to use. Your username. And then kill, which you can do fish, kill, loot, or mine. We're going to do if you kill uh, at E type equals pig, limit equals one. So if you kill a pig, 
for example. There has to be a pig around for it to do it with. You can get it. Alright, drop one cooked chicken from loot table. That's how it does it. It senses the loot table. Alright, so this next one we're going to do is we're going to do a block. So let's look in how to do that. What you're going to do is you're going to refresh your loot table. And here, you're, you're going to set your unset value to block. So now when a block is mined, this is what it's going to drop. One thing that you should know is you can put anything here. And then if you press this little plus button, you can add something else. If you added, for example three possible things and you gave it one roll then it's going to pick one out of these three that's the way you can do that and then you can add functions to any of these and yeah that's how that works so you're gonna set your thing you're gonna control c your code and then you're going to go back into your uh entities file we'll put this on the side now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back out to our data pack go into data minecraft loot tables and then next to entities, you're going to create a new folder called block. blocks. In this new folder, you're going to click it, and then you're going to put your block name. For example, if I want to replace this code here with a dirt, then you're going to use dirt.json, right? That's the code that you're going to use, .json, and then you can input in your code. Make sure it says Minecraft block here. Save that, go back out, and head into Minecraft. You're going to do slash reload when your data pack is in the world. And what we're going to do, what we have is it's going to mine us dirt, and this is, it's going to give us our dirt, and here we can set block. So, you, I would have a shovel in here and mine it, but, so, when you mine your dirt, you mine it, you'll have a chance to get some things. In this case, I got a sweeping edge two sword and a sponge. If I do it again, I get a sweeping edge sword and a sponge. If I do it again, I get a unbreaking three netherite sword and god's last bite. If I do it again, I get a knockback one sword. If I do it again, I get a mending and god's last So you can see that you can get several things from this just by doing it. Loot, give, super silverstone, and this is if you mine a block and then blow, because in case you did not know, two blocks below is dirt, so it's picking up the dirt loot table. And yeah, that's how a block works. Next one we're going to look at is fishing loot tables, all right? So let's head back into our editor here, and we're going to click on block, or well, we're going to refresh, and then go to block, and then click on fishing. Now you can set whatever you want on your fishing. When you're done with that, you're going to control C, it, head out, and then in your entities folder, you are going to click on, you're going to create a new folder called gameplay. In gameplay, you're going to put a text document called fishing.json. This is when you're fishing, and then you can go back into Minecraft, slash reload. I already did this beforehand, so me doing slash reload does nothing. And then we're going to take our fishing rod, and we're going to go fish. So let's fish. <sighs> oh, well, look at that. We fished. What did we got? We got four granite, one diorite, and one andesite. Let's try that again and see what we get. Look at that. In this one, we already had that. We had one diorite and one andesite. So you can tell that it actually does give stuff. That is loot tables, all right? So I have a few more things before, don't leave yet. There's a few important things. So if you want bartering, chess, gifts, anything like that, subscribe, leave a like, and I'll know that you want a part two of loot tables. On my planet Minecraft, my data pack with all of these things will be linked there, and it will be there for you to download and look at. So if you are ever wondering, hey, how did he get um, God's apple? from, you know, from this one. If you are interested in joining my Discord, if you need any help, that is a great place to get help and talk to me. I have a Patreon, which you can go subscribe to if you are interested. Patreon, link in the description. All of that is linked in the in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell to turn on those notifications, and go down in the comments and leave a comment. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody.